Science Gallery is moving into its 2018 year of programming, which is also our 10th year, so a big celebration year for Science Gallery. And we're especially excited by some of the exhibition themes that we have coming up. It's a really interesting concept of trying to look at fake, both from a positive and a negative perspective, how things are being faked, how perceptions are being played with. We don't know a lot about uh, how the human brain detects what's fake out there. This exhibition, for me at least, uh, is about how do we perceive what's fake from what's real. People don't often think about fake um, when they think about the animal kingdom, but actually animals cheat and lie quite a lot. Birds will give an alarm call that tells all the other birds that there's a predator coming, so they all run away. They go down and steals the food that the other ones were eating. So animals are clever enough to, to cheat and we'll be exploring that kind of idea in fake. I really hope that people would basically come in, obviously knowing that the show is titled Fake and they would be quite suspicious of what they're encountering, but equip them in with some more kind of uh, critical faculties, so for them to be able to identify fakes and identify when they're being played with. Even more than ever, there's a need for places like Science Gallery that are exploring the big questions of our time and how actually by bringing together people from different disciplines, we get closer to some of the potential solutions to those challenges than we would by exploring them from one discipline alone. So Life at the Edges is a really exciting new exhibit. It's going to look at life in all kinds of environments. It's going to look at the bottom of the oceans. It's going to look inside volcanoes. It's going to look at humanity. Humanity is confronted by climate change. It's then going to look at out in the universe where we have exoplanets. There are over 3,000 planets out there. Is there life in them? We as humans are actually coming towards living at the edge of what may be sustainable for our particular planet. And so we'll be talking a little bit about how we can explore ways in which we can survive living at that edge and adapt to living at that edge. So I hope people come away thinking, wow, there's a whole spectrum of life out there in the normal environment that we see, but maybe more in extreme places. And we as scientists are going out to try and explore those and find evidence for life. Their future generations, their great-great-grandchildren, will be the first explorers out into the solar system, and who knows where they may end up living. Intimacy is ultimately what makes us understand who we truly are, alone or with others. The show explores how we perceive and experience intimacy today, um, and also how art, science, design and technology can each in their own way help us understand it and describe it, and help us understand how we connect in pairs, groups or even networks. Visitors to the show will get an, a general idea of our desire and need to connect, but hopefully they will be inspired by a never-ending dialogue between different ways of looking at the same phenomenon and how this, this dialogue hopefully can help us reach new definitions of intimacy and new spaces of experience for it and help us perhaps improve the way we connect. 2018 will also be a year of celebrations for us because it is our 10th year. So in February, which was originally when we opened Science Gallery with a show called Lightwave, we'll be having a big event here in Science Gallery to celebrate those 10 years. We'll also be expanding some of our education programs over the year. And we'll also be looking at our events programs popping up throughout the country as well. In our 10th year, we're really delighted that we have some of those partners and supporters that have been with us through the whole journey of Science Gallery. As we go into 2018, we leave 2017 having welcomed our three millionth visitor into Science Gallery. 2018, we hope, will provide lots of opportunities for our audience to engage with us, to grow our programme, to participate and to leave their mark on Science Gallery.